This is Tech Nick and welcome to the ultimate charging speed test battle between seven of the fastest charging phones in the world. The first phone that we have here is the Oppo Find X2 Pro with a 65 watt charger in the box. It has 65 watt charging capabilities and a 4,260 milliamp hour battery. This battery is a dual cell battery split into two so we can concurrently charge both of them at the same time. The same can be said of the Realme X50 Pro with the dual cell batteries over here and a 65 watt charging block, though this one is not known as SuperDart by Realme, the sister company of Oppo. Another Realme phone here, 50 watt charging on the Realme X2 Pro with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Once again, dual cell batteries over here so that both 2,000 milliamp hour batteries can be charged at the same time for faster charging. We have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro over here. It comes with a 65 watt charging block in the box, though it is limited to 50 watt charging. So we are only gonna be getting a top of 50 watt charging with its 4,500 milliamp hour battery. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra comes with a 45 watt charging block sold separately a 25 watt charging block in the box and they pretty much charge at the same time though the 45 watt block is slightly faster between 30 and 45 minutes the redmi k30 pro zoom edition the newest phone of the bunch has 33 watts charging capabilities with a 33 watt charger in the box and a 4700 milliamp hour battery the second biggest battery of the bunch the smallest battery of the bunch the oneplus 7t with a 3800 milliamp hour battery and the slowest 30 watt charging over here with a warp charger in the box i'm really excited to see how these phones will stack up against each other in this charging speed test. Guys, this is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start here with the interval timer at the top here. You can see that we are currently on zero minutes and then it will shine up yellow once we are in that time interval. So the first one over there is six minutes. I wanted it to be five minutes, but I was still busy on the phones, turning them all on airplane mode and what have you. 25%, 26% on the Oppo, 26% on the Realme X50 Pro, 24 on the X2 Pro. Now we've moved on to the 10 minute mark, 41 on the Oppo, 42 on the X50 Pro, 41 on the X2 Pro, 28% on the Mi 10, 24% on the Samsung, 21 one on the K30 and 22 on the 70. And now after 15 minutes, you can see the time over there. I've also color coded them. So yellow means above 50%, orange means below 50% and green means between 75% and up. Red earlier was between zero and 25%. So far, the Realme X2 Pro is doing faster than the rest of them though with the second smallest battery and one of the fastest wattage charging blocks, you would pretty much expect this. We do have the countdown time at the top right hand corner. Guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, please please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. This video takes a hell of a long time to edit. And after just 27 minutes, the Realme X2 Pro, which is still crowned king of the charging department, 27 minutes, 3.7% per minute, 148 milliamp hours per minute with 34.2 degrees Celsius over there. 30 minute mark here, we have the Oppo Find X2 Pro and the Realme X50 Pro almost knocking out there with the X50 Pro knocking out at just 31 minutes over over here really impressed with that and we have the 3.2 percent per minute over there 136 milliamp hours per minute with the hottest so far 35.9 degrees celsius after charging the oppo find x2 pro once again full just after the realme x50 pro over here at 34 minutes just three minutes later not too bad with a slightly bigger battery 4260 milliamps 2.9 percent per minute 125 milliamp hours per minute and 33.3 .3 degrees celsius making it the coolest phone after charging so far in the test with the phones that have all already finished. So far we have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro next up over here and then after that it is the OnePlus 7T surprisingly, then the S20 Ultra and then the K30 Pro Zoom Edition. The Xiaomi is almost knocking out there 96% after 45 minutes, 86% on the Samsung, 82 on the K30 and 93 on the 7T. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro about a clock out over here and it does at just 49 minutes which is actually two minutes slower than the last time I charged up the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro on previous videos, be sure to check those videos out 35.2 degrees celsius not the coolest not the hottest 49 minutes two percent per minute over here 92 milliamp hours per minute it does have a bigger battery at 4500 milliamps compared to the three that have already finished 95 percent on the s20 ultra 98 percent on the 70 and 92 percent on the redmi k30 pro zoom edition here though the zoom edition and the s20 ultra have the biggest batteries much bigger than the oneplus 70 and the oneplus 70 finishes over there with 100 percent in just 58 minutes one point 7% per minute, 66 milliamp hours per minute. As you guys can see, it is the coolest phone over here, but it is charging
averaging the least amount of milliamp hours per minute over here compared to the others. Even though the Samsung finishes later at an hour and three minutes, it has been charging more milliamp hours per minute because it has a much bigger battery, 1200 milliamp hours, more than the OnePlus 7T. So in my opinion, it actually does a better job over here. And the Redmi K30 Pro finishes off here with 33 degrees Celsius in an hour and eight minutes, 1.5% per minute, 69 milliamp hours per minute. Seventh place over here, the Redmi K30 Pro in one hour and eight minutes, 33 watt charging with the second biggest battery of the lot here, 4,700 milliamps. The sixth place position is awarded to the S20 Ultra with the biggest battery, 5,000 milliamps and 45 watt charging. The OnePlus 7T is paired with a 30 watt charger and comes in at 58 minutes here, but it has a pretty small 3,800 milliamp hour battery. The Xiaomi has a much bigger battery at 4,500 milliamps, 50 watt charging, 49 minutes, not too bad there from Xiaomi. Third place, well, all three top spots are awarded to BBK Electronics, third place, Oppo Find X2 Pro with 34 minutes, second place, the Realme X50 Pro with 31 minutes, 4,200 milliamp hour battery, 65 watt charging, but it cannot beat its older brother over here, the Realme X2 Pro. It has a slightly smaller battery at 4,000 milliamps and slower watted charging at 50 watts, but comes in at 27 minutes, still the world's fastest phone to charge up with a bigger than 4,000 milliamp hour battery. If there were all 4,000 milliamp hour batteries, just like the Realme X2 Pro, then the Oppo Find X2 Pro would go down by two minutes. The same thing would happen with the X50 Pro. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, because it is, has quite a big battery, would drop by six minutes. The biggest difference would be the Samsung dropping by 13 minutes and the Redmi dropping by 10 minutes. And the OnePlus has a smaller battery than 4,000 milliamps, so it would actually add three minutes over there, which would pretty much suck because of that terrible 30 watt charging capabilities. It's really interesting to see that the OnePlus 7T over here actually did 66 milliamp hours per minute, making it the worst, even though it finished quicker than the Samsung and the Redmi. Guys, this is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.